Neuschwanstein and the fairy tale castle that inspired Walt Disney. Hi there, and welcome to Why and How. I'm Scott Leffler, and I'll be your guide today. If it's your first visit, make sure to like our video and hit that subscribe button, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Few places on earth look more like storybook illustrations than that. With its towers, turrets, frescoes, and throne hall, Neuschwanstein looks like it was plucked straight from your favorite fairy tale. It's one of the most famous castles and the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. It's considered as the eighth wonder of the world. It rises on a hill in the heart of a green wooded mountain in Bavaria, Germany, near the town of Fussen. <laughs> The castle was built by King Ludwig II of Bavaria, also known as the Fairy Tale King, a handsome young prince with a passion for music, art, and architecture, who ascended the throne as a teenager and ruled as a recluse until his untimely and mysterious death. During his lifetime, Ludwig II was denounced as a madman obsessed with beauty, spending money he didn't have on eccentric and ambitious building projects. Neuschwanstein was just one of many commissions ordered to enrich the cultural landscape of the nation. Ludwig II's reputation as an eccentric, reclusive king makes it easy to see why Neuschwanstein is so often called the castle of the fairy tale king. In a letter to his friend, the German composer Richard Wagner, Ludwig II said his intentions with Neuschwanstein were to rebuild old castle ruin of Hohenschwangau in the authentic style of the old German knights' castles. He described guest rooms with a splendid view of the noble Saling, the mountains of Tyrol, and far across the plain, and spoke of a singer's hall and an ample castle courtyard. But it's believed, almost without dispute, that Ludwig II built Neuschwanstein for political and deeply personal reasons. In 1866, Prussia emerged victorious from the Austro-Prussian War forcing Bavaria to accept an alliance with the Empire. King Ludwig II of Bavaria essentially lost his power. It's thought that Neuschwanstein became the centerpiece of Ludwig II's imagined kingdom where he could act as a true royal. Neuschwanstein Castle, with its white limestone facade and deep blue turrets, is rumored to be real-life inspiration for the castle in the Disney classic Cinderella, released in 1950. The resemblance, after all, is striking. But there's another Disney castle that looks quite a bit like Neuschwanstein, and that's Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland. Before Walt Disney began constructing his Californian theme park, he and his wife took a trip to Europe that included a stop at Neuschwanstein. Representatives of the park told the Orange County Register that Disney did have Ludwig II's remarkable home in mind for Sleeping Beauty's fairy tale palace. Despite Ludwig's grand plans, only 14 rooms are currently finished and on view for visitors. On the guided tour of Neuschwanstein Castle's interior, you'll have access to the cave-like grotto, throne room, and the singer's hall, among others. The Hall of Singers Singersaal This grand concert hall was one of Ludwig's favorite parts of Neuschwanstein. The room was both designed for performances of the operas of Richard Wagner, as well as other favorites and is a monument to the medieval German legends Ludwig loved so much. Its walls are decorated with images from Lohengrin and Parzival, romantic legends which were brought to life by Wagner. Throne Room Few rooms in Neuschwanstein capture Ludwig's obsession with being king quite as well as the throne room. The two-story space captures the majestic of Byzantine churches and is finished with a 13-foot chandelier, a painted cupola, an elaborate floor mosaic. Ironically, there was never a throne in this space. The Grotto This fascinating room is between the salon and the study on Neuschwanstein's third floor. Ludwig had a stage designer called August Dirigel build it with artificial stalactites and was originally designed to include a waterfall. You can push back some of the fake rocks to reveal a winter garden with a stunning view of the Alps. After Ludwig's death, the castle in all its glory was open to the public. The castle was also renamed from Honskwangau Castle to its current name, Neuschwanstein Castle, meaning the new Swan of Stone Castle. Even though photography is forbidden inside the castle, it is the most photographed building in Germany and is visited by about 1.3 million people each year. 
Ludwig once said, I want to remain an eternal mystery to myself and others. It's certainly what he's become, and his mysterious element still fascinates people today.